this may or may not be the fifth time I've tried to film this video. What am I doing? Sup guys? If you ignore the fact that I'm in a onesie, I can ignore the fact that you've probably already clicked away from this video and have no interest in it. Okay? Deal. The moment I turned on this camera, I felt immediate regret because I'm about to talk about going back to school after winter break. And who wants to think about school? Right? As of today, which I'm guessing is Friday, by the time I put this up, you guys have been in school for a week now? Almost? Maybe four days? Something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I don't go back to school for two more weeks. So... I mean, I feel your pain because I've been there, but I don't feel your pain anymore because I'm not there and I'm sorry. So sorry. Anyways, I've come up with five simple tips for making the transition from winter break to back to school this much easier. This much easier. Tip number one, go to bed. Stop staying up until 3 a.m. reading fanfiction on Tumblr. Check the tags. It'll be there when you get back. Tip number two. Set an alarm. Set an alarm for like 20 minutes before you actually have to be up. That way, when you hit the snooze button, you don't have to feel guilty. Or attempt to feel guilty. Or think about feeling guilty for sleeping another 10-15 minutes. It helps. Tip number three. Put your phone on silent. Nobody wants to hear Katy Perry or One Direction going off in the middle of math class. Nobody wants to hear it. By this point, they've all gotten sick of every song you can think of making your ringtone, so just silent, vibrate, and you don't get in trouble in class. Right? That plus? That's a plus, right? Okay. <sighs> Number four. Eat something. Like I said before, nobody wants to hear interrupting noises in the middle of a class. Nobody wants to hear your stomach growling because you haven't eaten since 10 p.m. the previous night. No, just a granola bar, some toast, some juice, something. Something, please. Nobody wants to hear your stomach in the middle of a lecture. Trust me. And lastly, tip number five, just pay attention. I guarantee that if you pay attention to whatever your teacher is saying, the time's gonna fly by. And the more you pay attention, the more time flies by. And the sooner you can get back to your home and your bed and your laptop and your unlimited Wi Fi access. I mean, just saying, who doesn't wanna speed through the day and get back to unlimited Wi Fi access? I know I do. So, okay. I hope those help you because honestly, they are going to help me a lot in two weeks when I have to think about going back to school, which I don't even want to think about right now. And I am sorry that you have to. I am still just so sorry. <laughs> it must suck. Hmm. Anyways, all right then. Well, I hope those help you because, yeah. Did I say that already? Ooh. I'm getting old and repetitive. Okay, anyways, I'm going to cut this short. I want to thank you guys for the 27 views on my first video. Honestly, I wasn't expecting more than one. And that one was going to be me after I watched it to make myself feel better. So, thank all 26 of you that happened to watch that video. Or maybe clicked on it by accident. But thank you. Like this. If you liked it. I don't know, I'm not going to ask. Beg for likes. Like it if you like it. Don't like it if you don't. Just don't thumbs down it. That's rude. That's just rude, you guys. Rude. Anyways, cyber hugs. Hugs, 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 hugs. And I will see you whenever I see you, which may or not be within seven days. It'll be within seven days, I promise. Cool? That's cool? Okay. Bye!